Hello guys, today I want to do tracheostomy care. So tracheostomy care is a procedure which is done most of the times in surgical wards and ICU. So this procedure, what we really focus on is um, suctioning. So to start with, there is um, a tracheostomy, uh, tracheostomy tube here, as you can see. So a patient has a tracheostomy tube. So we are supposed to suction through there. So suctioning while performing tracheostomy care is a sterile procedure. So this is a sterile procedure because suctioning is sterile because we don't want to introduce any infection in the, in the tube there, the tracheostomy tube, because it goes all the way into the trachea somewhere there. So we need to ensure that it's a sterile procedure. Okay, so uh, this procedure is done in conjunction with uh, the suction machine. So a suction machine is here. So suction machine has got um, a suction tube. This tube, we're going to connect uh, a suction catheter. Then as you see here, this is an um, on-off button here. Okay, so it's on-off button. So this is the one you're going to press when you start suctioning. Then here, this is a gauge which shows the pressure. Okay, so it will show the pressure, how much you are suctioning and uh, for the for the airway, you don't need to put a lot of pressure, so you can end up at uh, negative two bars, okay? So if it was uh, millimeters, you can say 20 millimeters of mercury, so you don't need to put a lot of pressure because you can injure the trachea, okay? So on the trolley here, the top shelf, what I have is, uh, this is a, a towel for drying hands after you scrub. Then here, in this bowl here, we have um, gauze and cotton wool. So this gauze and cotton wool will be used for cleaning as well as suctioning. So here, these are the two gully pots or balls that you're going to use for normal saline because you require normal saline for suctioning. Then these faucets are there to help clean as well as remove the uh, gauze from the tracheostomy tube. Then in this other side here, we have uh, a receiver for putting sterile cotton wool and gauze. Then that other drip is we are going to use it as a bib or just to cover on the uh, sterile field. Okay, so then bottom shelf, what you have here, we have uh, Vaseline gauze because you're supposed to wrap around Vaseline gauze around the tube. Then here we have also suction catheter. So suction catheters come in sizes. So this is uh, size 12, okay, as you see, FR12. So you have to check also the size so that you know the kind of lumen that you're going to deal with. So you need to also check the size. Then we're going to also use um, incontinent sheet to cover on top. And again, we're going to use sodium bicarbonate. So this sodium bicarbonate, we're going to use it to put in this receiver here. So this receiver will contain sodium bicarbonate, which we're going to throw in the, the suction catheter, okay? So suction catheter will be discarded here in this sodium bicarbonate, okay? So you'll see how it will do. Then this is a normal saline. Normal saline will be put in those uh, two gully pots there so that we use them for suction, okay? Then this basin here will be able to receive a drip that is used for drying of hands. So at this moment, let me say that um, we should start the procedure, okay? So as usual, we start with um, hand washing. So hand washing, this is just a uh, clean, so you put soap, you do that once, since it's for us. On the words, do a full hand wash, okay? Then you come to Mr. Um, Mr. Mkubesa. So, good morning, Mr. Mkubesa. I am student number two from Kalushi College of Nursing. I've been assigned to do tracheostomy care on you, which means that I'm supposed to suction through the tube. Am I allowed to go ahead? Okay, I said uh, I can go ahead. Is there anything I can do for you before I begin the procedure? Okay, nothing. Okay, at this moment, Mr. Mukubesa, I would like uh, to prop you up. So propping him up is one of the uh, things that you're supposed to do because you cannot suction while he's lying flat like this. So you need to at least put him 30 degrees or 45 degrees, okay? So my assistant, could you just please help me elevate him? So you do that. So you need to elevate, okay? So uh, maybe just turn it around like that. This one, this, like this, yes. Okay, another 
Kilo. So at least this is um, something that you any score. It will end your mark because it's there on the checklist that you're supposed to at least prop him up as you do the suction. Okay, it's one of uh, those things that you do. So you have assessed even the, the other side there is not incontinent, so you can now move on. So what you need to do is uh, you have to go now to the to the uh, bottom shelf there, get the cushion, place it there because you don't want to sew the linen. So you can place it there, okay? After that, what you need to do is um, need to now get the solutions. So first of all, you need to go to sodium bicarbonate. So sodium bicarbonate will go into that receiver. This receiver here. here this is the receiver. That's why you put sodium bicarbonate. So you put, you put, you put it there, okay? Then after that, you go to normal saline. So both curry pots will be able to receive normal saline. This is the normal saline. So you put normal saline in both curry pots, like that. And even in this other one, you will eventually see the use of normal saline as we go on. Okay. From there, what you need to do now is um, connect the suction catheter to the suction tube. So suction catheter will be connected to the suction tube. So how do you connect? So this is the most tricky part that students are going to do. So just pay attention and see. So in as much as you practice this procedure, you'll be able to know that uh, this tube won't be opened completely. So just practice the procedure so that you get to know this trick part. So you need to just peel because it said open here. So you go where it says open, then peel. As you peel like that, okay, just expose this part only. Do not open to expose this part which will be suctioning. So just this part which is not supposed to suction, then connect it to this end. Okay. So you connect these two here. So just before you connect, you can also show the examiner that you are testing the machine. So you go down there and press the button for switching on. There. Then you test for pressure, like that, okay? So how you test for pressure, look at the gauge there. The gauge is rising, so I move. So you need to block. When you block, you test for pressure. Then the gauge there is rising. So this is working. You switch off and connect. So you connect to ensure that it's not coming off. So you connect like that and put it, leave it like this. So you're going to leave it here. You leave it there. It's a sterile procedure, so don't remove that from the plastic. So that's what you do. Then after that, you are set now, you can at least go and scrub. So scrubbing, you go the way we do it. So you go one, this side, then this side two. Then you get top and do one, two, three, do that, then go. Up to your elbow, then you do that, drop your elbow, then release. Okay. Okay. Then you go to dry your hands and arms. So you do that. So the way you start as usual with the first corner, do that. Okay. Ensure that your fingertips are dry. You go up to there. Then swap. This second corner goes outside. Okay. Up to there. Then third corner goes inside like that. Okay. You do that. Then fourth corner, which is this, goes outside here. Like that. Then once you're done, you're supposed to throw this in that basin there. So you just bend a little bit, bend and then throw, like that. Okay, then you can don gloves. So how you don gloves is like this, okay? As you can see, this other part here 
is sterile. Do not touch with your bare hands. So what you're going to do is you're going to touch this part here, but not this part. This part is sterile. So pick here, okay, and then slide in your fingers there, okay. So once you do that, even if they are not correctly worn, just pull, okay, and leave it. Then pick this side, okay, just there. Then put your fingers there, okay. Then correct this side, okay. You're going to do that, okay, just there. Then do that, ensure that they are correctly worn, okay. So meaning that at least this is sterile, it can touch like that, no problem. Then what you do now, you start getting the swabs. So you're going to check there is normal saline in both. So this will be used for suctioning. You place it by the corner, like that. This is for suctioning. Then this is for at least making the swabs for suction. So you go one, okay. So you can put there. Then you go to the second one. Okay. Then third, okay. then you can get maybe something like if you say the fourth one for covering on top, you'll see how we're going to cover so that you, it acts as a filter. Okay. Then you get another one which are going to make more like a strip, like this. Okay. So you make this. You're going to see how we're going to use this strip here. So you place it there as well. Okay, just to ensure that it's uh, you don't use it together with the other swabs. So the next thing that you're going to do now here is to ensure that you also prepare something just to show the examiner that you're going to clean around the, the tube. So you get one swab just to show the examiner that you know that you are going to clean around the tube. Okay, so once you do that, the next step now is to come here, get a forcep. Okay, once you get a forcep, you're going to remove that cotton wool there. You remove it. So you remove the gauze and then discard it down there in that receiver. Okay, once you do that, you should now drape. Okay, so this is a bib which you should just put there. Okay, so this is a bib. Just put there so that you create a sterile field. So this is a sterile field that has been created. After that, then you should get this here. You're going to show the examiner that you clean round, okay? So um, you can either start with uh, suctioning inside, then come and clean outwards there. So you can either clean in advance or after suctioning. So you can do that round here. Okay, to show the examiner that, okay, I will clean, so you can clean there. Because here there can be mucus that can come out of the tube to drop there. So just do it that, like that once, and then discard this as well. Okay. So once that has been done, what you're going to do is, uh, you're going to work with your hands. So the technique that you work is, this hand remains sterile. Okay, then this hand will be contaminated. So you go with this hand to the machine. You're going to go to the switch button and switch on the left one. So meaning that this is contaminated for now. So you, when you press there, meaning this one will not go to the sterile field. So now pick this tube. Okay, as you can see, a bit and then hold there. So what you're going to do is uh, my assistant, would you just pull out the plastic slowly, then you hold this part. So this hand is sterile, this other hand is contaminated, so it won't touch this part of the sterile field. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go back to the normal saline, and when you go back there, you should be able to close here, with your thumb here, or you use this, to close but then since you'll be doing this frequently use your thumb so that you close so what happens when you close look when you close up here what happens is that it suctions 
meaning it's able to suction. When you open up here, it, it's not doing anything. So how you suction is to close up here. So when you close up, meaning it's able to suction. So that's what we do. Now, what, what's the technique here? The technique is that you're going to leave it here, then with this sterile hand, pick the ghost, okay? And hold on there. When you turn to the patient, you're going to approximate about 15 to 20 centimeters, which will go in the tube, okay? So this is approximated 15 to 20 centimeters, okay? Which should go in the tube. So when going in the tube, do not occlude here, because as it, you, pushing this is going to injure the airway. So do not close here as you are pushing in because it's going to damage the airway. So push in like that, okay? And you have to be very fast, like pushing this way, very fast, okay? Once it reaches there, occlude here and then do it in a circular motion. So as I've closed here, meaning it's suctioning. So in a circular motion, move it out. So as you can see, I've moved it out, then I can do that. I can clean it up and then drop it in normal cell. So this was shown that it has a mucus because it went inside, then it has to be thrown away. Then get another one and place it here. Same 15 to 20. Then since there is mucus here, we are going to close here to push out the mucus from the tube. Close up so that you push away the mucus from the tube. So again, you come here. Since it's clean, you have uh, cleaned it. Then push it in again very fast. Then occlude here. And then suction in a circular motion. Once you suction in a circular motion, then go back again there and clean it with normal saline. And then clean this part. So at this moment, we would say that you are through with the procedure. Okay. So what you're going to do is, you're going to get this uh, tube, okay? Then with the same finger which switched on, switch off. Switch off the machine with the same finger. Then what do you do with the tube? You disconnect there, okay? You can disconnect, then put the suction tube there. Then the suction catheter should go into the sodium bicarbonate. So place the catheter in sodium bicarbonate like that. You mess it so that it's decontaminated, just like that. Okay. So once this has been done, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to ask for Vaseline gauze. Okay. So my assistant, we have Vaseline gauze. So you get Vaseline gauze from there. Okay. So this is Vaseline gauze. So what you're going to do with Vaseline gauze, you're going to drop it there. Okay and then ensure that it goes round, okay? You can wrap it around. Why, why you're putting Vaseline gauze? It's because you don't want any damage under the skin, what we call skin excoriation or damage to the skin as you are trying to put gauze on top. So Vaseline gauze helps to protect this skin under here. Then you get now this part here, okay? This gauze, then you cover gauze on top, okay? On top of Vaseline gauze so that you protect the area. Okay, you can protect the area just like that. So meaning that the underneath, uh, can say the skin is protected. So what do you do next? You get this gauze here. This gauze is wet gauze. Then you put it on top of the tube. So this meaning that it will act as a filter. So it has to be very thin, as you can see. It has to allow air to pass through. So it acts as a filter so that no microorganisms can enter, okay? So we just assume that uh, it's a filter, so that's what we do. Then if you've got uh, those industrial-made filters, you can put an industrial-made filter there so that it uh, filters the air that goes in, so that uh, the patient does not breathe dry air. Okay, so you can now remove this and then thank the patient. So thank you very much, Mr. You can use the name given in the scenario, Mr. Mwake, okay? for allowing me to do the procedure, okay? So if you feel any discomfort, please do call on me. I'll be able to assist you, okay? So in case you feel anything around your neck, like your neck is bulging, that's what we call subcutaneous emphysema, you feel the neck is bulging, meaning air is seeping off to go under the skin. So if you feel anything 
abnormal like maybe your, your neck is bulging you should call on me or if you're failing to breathe you can call on me as quickly as possible so there will be a bell here which will be put or maybe a button which you have to press so meaning in ICUs there are buttons where the patient should be able to press in case they are failing to breathe properly okay or even when there is excessive production of mucus they have to call you so that you suction so this deals with suction so in as much as this procedure is long you should be able to finish in five minutes so for you to finish in five minutes you have to practice this procedure so you can take off your gloves and then go to the sister in charge to tell the sister in charge that uh, you have uh, left the patient comfortable and you have also done the suctioning and you have documented so if the patient is comfortable in this position you can leave him in this position if he says he's not really comfortable you can remove the backrest and one pillow so that he lies more like in supine where he feels comfortable so at this moment now you have to even wash your hands So what you do now, guys, is that you have to go to the skills lab or if you're working on the ward, go on that patient, try and suction. So when you practice suctioning, which is thorough, it will help you at least to remember the steps. So thank you very much for watching and subscribe. Subscription is free, so thank you, have a good day.